Hey guys, I'm back with another video. I know you're saying to yourself, girl, where in the world have you been? I know, I know, I know. It's been a long time coming, but um, not going to be long. Just want to tell the viewers, welcome to the channel for the ones that's new and welcome back to the ones that's returning. Um, I want to actually talk to you guys today about a dream, a dream that I had about two nights ago. And, um... The reason why I'm sharing this dream with you is because I was praying a couple of nights ago um, about what's coming to our nations. And I wanted God to kind of reveal that simply because I wanted us to pray as a body for the things that that's about to come. And that we uh, we be on the alert. We be on the lookout for the stuff that's about to happen. So nonetheless, not going to um, take up too much of your time, but let me go into the dream. I'm not going to tell the full dream. I'll just get to the end part. So um, there was a prophet in this dream, and um, the prophet pointed at me, and the prophet said in the dream, he said, uh, you have a double portion of the prophetic. And then there was a group that was sitting around that he was actually talking to, and he was telling the group that, um, you know, the prophets that they actually been around for a while don't know anything about the prof about prophecy. So uh, he was talking about something that was going to be taking place with McDonald's. He said something is going to happen. So one of the young ladies stood up and she said, well, tell us. Let me see if, if, if what you're saying is real. Like, did you talk about this before? So he opened up a book and in the book was some drawings that he had drew. And it was actually done in crayon. And he was saying that he was going to show us the picture he drew about McDonald's. But when he got to the picture of McDonald's, it wasn't actually a drawing. It was a real image. And on the image, it had like a uh, the image you're looking at now. That's why I have this image up there. It was an image similar to this, but it had the cast from Coming to America. It had the whole cast on there. And... Um, when I looked, I said, well, I just was telling my husband, I just was telling my husband a few days ago how there's something that's um, that's going to come that we need to be on a lookout for that's going to be imported here in the in the States from China. It was going to be something wrong with the um, the food from China. So when I woke up and I was telling my husband a dream, when I got to the point where the prophet was showing in his book, um, the, the image of uh, McDonald's and it had the cast from coming to when I got to coming to I stopped and I said wait a minute I said babe what God was showing me is that these things are coming to America and it has something to do with food and I found that to be very funny at the same time because he used the image an image similar to the one I'm looking at it didn't have the writings coming to America but it was like the cast so I know that he was telling me that it, these are these are things that was going to come to America that we need to be on the lookout. And it has to do with food. Now, rather it has to do with food shortage or anything like that, I'm not sure. Because what I picked up from the dream it was that um, the food wouldn't be too good to eat. Some food that was going to be imported from China and also something with McDonald's. Because McDonald's was in the back of the... The uh, the image that had the cast members from coming to America. So I just wanted to share that dream with you guys to let you know that God does speak in dreams. And when you're praying and you're asking God to show you things to come so we as a body can pray for it, he definitely will show it to us. And um, I know that God does send warnings in dreams. It's no different than he spoke to the king of Gerar in the book of Genesis 20 chapter, starting at the third throughout the seventh verse. He was telling the king Abimelech, which is the king of Gerar. He was telling him he was about a dead man because he took on the wife uh, of, of Abraham. And um, the king, of course, he was stating in the, in the, uh, in the dream that God gave him by night that he, he was innocent and, and he had no idea that this, this woman was married because they lied to him basically and told him that they were sisters and brothers. That's how he felt because that's what they stated to him. You know, long story short, God warned him in the dream and, and told him that, you know, basically Abraham was a prophet and he needed to go back so that the prophet could lay hands on him so that he may be healed. So 
I say that to say this. That God does send warnings and don't look at your dreams as his pizza dreams or, you know, somebody might have polluted your, your, your way of thinking about dreams by telling you that it does not come from God. I encourage you to, uh, to open up your Bibles and just start reading about dreams and reading about visions and reading about prophecies. Because even in the book of Job, um, the 33 chapter, the 33rd chapter rather, is talking about um, how God pulls back he put he placed it in our dreams or whatever but he pulls back the flesh so that he could stop us from actually going to a place of hell but you got to go into that and you got to read it and study it and and ask god to give you the wisdom the knowledge and the understanding about the thing that he's showing you especially concerning his words especially concerning the dream that he is giving and the warning signs because a lot of us as saints we're sleeping and we're not praying and we're not watching so I encourage the body of Christ that, you know, we all continue to pray, not just for our nation, but all nations, because it could be that nation today and it could be our nation tonight. So I'm not going to say that these things about the food is coming today or tomorrow. But what I would what I would tell you is that I know it's coming. It's coming to America, just as the dream indicated. I pray that this video bless somebody and I pray, pray that encourage somebody that may have similar dreams or similar uh you know it was similar to a vision maybe that you had about food food shortages food uh toxication or whatever i just pray that this video bless you but continue to keep looking for more videos to come be blessed